Hi there, I'm Jody, and you are on my Stamp with Jody YouTube channel. This is the Great American Stampin' Show. It's a friendly competition between four friends. We come on weekly and we choose a template. We each create a card inspired by that template, and then you get to vote on who the winner is each and every week. You vote simply by giving a thumbs up right here on YouTube, and then at the end of Sunday, so for just a few days, we have voting open. Sunday night, we crown the winner. So whoever has the most votes on their video by Sunday night is declared the winner. So today, I have a very special card to share with you. It's non-traditional Christmas colors. So if you like blues, purples, things like that, not the traditional red and green, I think you're really going to enjoy this card. And I love that it has shimmer. I've used two different kinds of glimmer paper and a really sparkly gem on the card. It's definitely quick and creative, and it's something you can easily duplicate as your Christmas card for 2024. So today is a big day with the Great American Stampin' Show because we are now on row two of our layouts here. These card templates are on page 22 in the annual catalog. In that top row, one through 11, we have done that many episodes this season of the Great American Stampin' Show already. And today we are focusing on the template number 12. So you've got um, the card base, obviously. There's another layer in there. And then just like a focal point circle with some other circles around it. So that was the inspiration for the card that I'm going to share with you today. Um, let me pull in also my mini catalog. So this is the most recent Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and it's just filled with our holiday products. I wanted to focus in on it's page 45. If you're looking in my online store, you can just search for one of a kind. So this is a bundle that is in our mini catalog. And you know, I'm just like you when I go through and I see new products and I think, okay, what do I really want right now? Or what do I want someday? Like you have to prioritize, right? Because most of us just want it all. So when I was going through and prioritizing, I decided to get only the dies. So you can see these are actual size, the one of a kind dies. I purchased this set of dies, these two, $13. I did not choose the stamp set. So you can purchase it as a bundle and you always save 10% on our bundles or you could purchase just the stamp set or you could purchase just the dies and that's what I decided to do and that's what I'm using on this quick and creative card for today. Now in comparison, back here, pages 24 and 25 in the mini catalog, this is a suite called Season of Elegance and you have been seeing me use Peaceful Season, this bundle an awful lot. I I think I may have used it on the last two episodes in a row. I have been using this bundle like crazy, both the stamp set and the dies. Now, it's part of a suite, so all of these products coordinate, but I didn't buy the second bundle. I didn't buy these embellishments or designer paper or the embossing folder. I did get the ribbon. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because I can get these dies and use it with these stamps if I want to. Like don't let yourself be like limited or held back in any way by what's put together in the catalogs. So just pick and choose what you like the most and use that however it works well for you. So again, this is the peaceful season and I am going to use peace and joy out of that stamp set. So let's pull in all of these fun products. I'm really excited about this card. It's got some sparkle. I used glimmer paper, a couple different colors, and I really, really like it. So my card base is pool party. And so that's the usual eight and a half, oops, by five and a half. And it's just folded in half there. I'd love to use my bone folder to get a good crisp fold. And then I have a layer that's just a little bit smaller. This is four inches by five and a quarter. And this is Summer Splash. It's one of our new in colors. And before I attach it, I'm going to pull in 
our ribbon. And this is pom-pom ribbon. I guess that's all it says. Pool party pom-pom ribbon. Anyhow, you can see it is a lot of fun with those little pom-poms on there. And I am going to just kind of set this on my card and use that as a guide to know how much to cut. So I'm just going to cut right after those pom-poms right there. Sometimes it's just easier to set it right on the layer it's going on and then you don't have to worry about measuring or oh no it's too long or too short anything like that. Now to attach ribbon to cardstock this is always my trick. I am going to set my adhesive right across the cardstock. I never put adhesive on the ribbon itself because now, I think you can see that line, all I'm going to do is set the adhesive, excuse me, the ribbon right down into the adhesive. It doesn't, it's just so easy because if you try to put the adhesive on the ribbon, just the fibers of the ribbon, it sticks to the fibers or it doesn't like go smoothly across the whole thing. This just makes it nice and easy. I ran my stamp and seal. I set this down into it and now I lined it up on this side. I can just super easily trim off the excess here and it's nice because once I press it down on there straight, that's all the little bit of trimming that I need to do. Then this layer, We'll get set on the pool party card base, and then we'll start the real fun. All right, so this is just going to get layered on like this, and then, okay, if you remember in that layout, there was a big circle with little circles around it. So my big circle is this white glimmer paper. I've been using glimmer paper a lot lately too, and every time I think to myself, oh my gosh, it just doesn't capture how gorgeous this is. I've tried to move it so you could see it in the light better. I guess you're just going to have to trust me or order some for yourself to know how fun this glimmer paper is. So I'm putting some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Probably just do these four. Could have always done one in the middle, I suppose. A little trick on Dimensionals. If you ever sit here and are struggling to peel that back off, take your thumbnail and just go like this just down the center of one and it automatically will just pop the edge up when you put that pressure there and then you can peel it off. So just a quick little tip if you ever struggle with the Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, so this is just going to go centered on the card, press down where the Dimensionals are, and then I'm going to take this. Now remember, the snowflake dies, the one-of-a-kind dies, are just these two pieces. So I took this one, the outline, with um, Pool Party, same as the card base. And I'm just going to put some adhesive on that and attach it to that white glimmer circle. The circle, by the way, I just did with my two and three-eighths. Oh, look, you can see me and my sweater. Ha! Two and three eighths circle punch. So that is on like that. And then I went ahead. So I used Summer Splash Glimmer Paper. So we have a package that's got all of the in colors in glimmer paper. It's just gorgeous. And I put some of our adhesive sheets on the back. I've shown you this before too. It just makes working with a very intricate die like this so much easier. So if you, what I did was I just cut a strip. You can't really, I mean, I guess you could see the edge right there. I just cut a strip. So on my paper trimmer, I just cut a strip like this and attached it to the back of my glimmer paper. So if I peel this off, Hopefully you can see, you can see a little bit of the adhesive coming up right there, but this is tacky. So when I cut it and attach it to the back here and then die cut it, it's going to make this sticker. So this already has sticky on the back from that adhesive sheet. Um, it also has the little pieces, so I'm just grabbing my scissors that are right here in handy to kind of punch out some of those center parts. And I'm going to attach this right in the middle of that more solid snowflake. Oh, I've got 
one of little pieces. There we go. Okay, so it's just it's so pretty. The shimmer from this glimmer paper and that detailed snowflake. And then what I'm going to do is die cut two more. So I've got... I. Okay, yeah, I need to, I'm like, where's the other one? I'm going to die cut one more on here. So this, again, I'm just peeling off. So this comes off, and it's just a sticker. This is sticky and ready to go. You can grab those scissors one more time, pop out those little centers. And then this, oops, they're sticky, which means they sometimes stick where you don't want to. Okay, so this one, I am going to just simply tuck under here a little bit. So if you remember, it was a focal larger circle and then other littler circles around it. So I am using these extra snowflakes to add some of that depth. So let me go ahead and run this one through my stamp and Cut and Emboss machine, just like I did the first two. Okay, so now I can just set that aside peel this one off, pop out those little extra spots, and then we'll attach this final Summer Splash Glimmer Detailed Snowflake. Do you like to use glimmer paper? Do you use it on just Christmas cards? Do you use glimmer paper for all occasions? Do you use it on birthday cards? I'd love to hear when you use glimmer paper. I just think it adds so much, and it's just so pretty to add to cards. I do probably use it more at Christmas time than any other time. And when it's on detail, sometimes it's nice just to add a strip of glimmer paper. It adds a lot, but when I'm using it, oh, I didn't even realize I had pulled that off camera. When I am using it on detailed um, dies, definitely adhesive sheets are a game changer. Okay, so this one is getting tucked down here. So you can see we've got three glimmery, shimmery snowflakes plus that white circle that's also glimmer paper. Now, I did mention that I was going to use the Peace and Joy stamp, and I'm using that with Summer Splash ink. And I already went ahead and die cut this little circle on basic white. It's got that stitched edging around it. So we'll ink this up and go ahead and stamp Peace and Joy. And then I'm just simply going to add that to the card. Now I want this to be popped up like this um, white glimmer circle. So what I'm going to do is take a Stampin' Dimensional and put it down here at the bottom. I'm not going to put one at the top because then it will be at the same level. So I peeled the backing off and I'm just going to set it on here, but it's at the same level up here I just need that extra little cushion here. I could, if it makes you feel better, you can just put a little adhesive behind there and stick it down. It doesn't matter either way. As long as it's secure there, you're good to go. One final touch is a new shimmery little embellishment. I chose to use uh, the silver on this one. And so I'll just peel that off. It's got sticky on the back. And I'm going to add that right to the center of the card. There is so much sparkle and shine on this card. I wish so much I could send one to each and every one of you so that you could see it in person because I absolutely love it. So I would love to hear what you think. Do you like the shimmer? Do you use it all year round? What do you think of blues on Christmas cards? Or do you prefer those traditional reds and greens? Let me know what you think in the comments here. I would love to have your thumbs up vote for this round of the Great American Stampin' Show. Be sure to go through and watch Shannon, Brandy, and Julie's videos and give that thumbs up to the one that you enjoy the most. We love our weekly friendly competition. And most of all, we just are so thrilled that you enjoy watching our videos. So have a great day and thanks so much for watching.